Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'm going to talk about Android O and I've installed the Android O on my Google uh, Pixel XL and if you have a Nexus 6P or even a Nexus 5X or a Pixel, uh, you can actually enroll in the Android beta program and get Android o OT update. I'll talk about that. I'll actually show you how to get it in the later part of the video. But uh, first, let's talk about what are some of the new features that we will be seeing with Android Oh, yesterday was Google I.O. 2017, though we didn't get any new hardware, but uh, uh, Google has talked a lot about some of the new features that we will be seeing on this Android O. Oh, and I'm going to quickly uh, talk about that. And uh, the first thing that I have noticed is that notifications have been improved. And now we have a, a thing called dot notification. Here is a quick demo of the same. So I've installed the Android O beta on this Pixel XL and first let me show you the Android version. Still we don't know what Android O stands for uh, but if you notice uh, the layout has been improved. Uh, uh, it's a lot more systematic over here with the icons and uh, let's go to system and as you can see it's updated to the Android O. And, uh, Again, in terms of UI, if you are expecting a lot of changes, you won't notice that. But in terms of notifications, Android has added uh, this uh, dot notifications on Android O. And if you closely look at this Twitter app, you see a dot over here. That means there is a notification and I don't have to pull down the tray to uh, see what it is. I can just tap on it. And as you can see, I got a notification from Amit Bhavani. He says, hey, Ranji. So I don't have to open the uh, go to here. I can obviously do that and uh, see the notification. But I can just tap here and also see the notification. This works for uh, almost every notification. You'll just get a dot if you have a notification. Another new uh, feature that Google was touting is regarding picture in picture. For example, if you're watching a YouTube video, you can just press the home button and uh, the video will just float around on the screen and you can continue your stuff. As of now with this beta update, it's not working properly, but in, with the future updates, that feature will be enabled. So we have a native picture in picture mode with Android O and I feel that that can be a useful feature. Another thing is that if you've used any Google Chrome browser, when you have a form where we have to fill in a lot of uh, fields, it auto fills that stuff. That functionality has also now come to Android O. So again, you don't have to fill in all the big forms. It will try to auto fill a lot of stuff for you. Uh, next thing is regarding the battery life. Again, uh, as I've mentioned, uh, Android O, if you are expecting a lot of visual uh, changes compared to Android Nougat, you won't see that. But under the hood, Google has made a lot of changes. And also regarding battery life uh, we should get actually good battery life with Android O. Uh, the reason is that for background tasks now Google is becoming a little bit strict with Android O and apps that consume a lot of battery power when they are not uh, in the foreground that means in background that is going to be a lot restricted with Android O. So again if you have some apps that use a lot of battery life even though when you're not using it that should improve uh, things with Android O. Again, uh, I've just installed Android O on, uh, on uh, this Pixel XL. It's right now too early to say uh, about the battery improvements, but again, stay tuned to my channel. I'll use this Pixel XL with the Android O beta, and after a few uh, days, we'll get an update. And regarding uh, another thing, this is a new feature. Again, this is not directly uh, relevant to you as an end user, but for developers, this is a new thing. Uh, developers uh, Android O has this new option of downloadable fonts. So if there is a font that is not there on your Android device and if a developer wants that in the app, that can be downloaded automatically. And again, regarding security, Android O has enhanced security. For example, we have Google uh, Play Protect option with Android O. So it automatically scans the apps on your device. You don't have to do anything. It is done in the background. So improved security with Android O. Another thing under the hood is that Android O is supposed to be a lot faster and it should improve the boot up times of your device and even the app loading. So there are a lot of changes that you see on Android O under the hood. And again, this will come out later on. As of now, it's just a beta. So uh, you can actually test it out if you have a Google Pixel, Google, uh, uh, 
uh, Nexus 6P or even the 5X and it's very simple to uh, get this uh, Android O on your uh, device but again do guys remember this is a beta so again not everything is working as uh, expected so if this is your primary phone don't install it because already I've seen some app crashes with this beta one but again if you want to do that it's very easy as you can see you just go to android.com slash beta and you have to just enroll here this page will give you a brief idea about the android o program and if you just scroll down it'll show you the devices that are compatible with android o my google pixel is compatible so i can enroll in that and i'm just going to click on this one and uh, it uh, oh, we have a what do you say uh, agreement that again guys this is a beta program so again uh, don't use it on your primary device and i hit the join option and now i'm enrolled in this android beta program that is android o and now if you go on your smartphone to settings and about the update you will find an ota update and you can download that and install android o so guys that's it for now for this uh, quick update on android o at its first look if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video